I can't even do that. I managed to spread my steak at my table. <laughs> I took my knife and fork, I cut it up on my plate, picked it up, and put it in my mouth. Beneath this legend was a man in a white shirt with Lennon-esque glasses, his hand arched as a cobra, a sultry cascade of salt tumbling down his forearm, lips pursed, something between a smirk and a, and a seductive pout. The internet abided. The tweet went viral, just shy of 17 million views. It was absolutely ridiculous, but without doubt, pure theater. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my review of Nusret, AKA Salt Bay. Talk about being current. This place is on the tip of everyone's tongue at the moment, and it's not hard to see why. It's caused a stir. We can't comment unless we actually come and find out what it's really like. No one's got a gun to our head. We're here on our own will, and I'm very, very interested to see what it's really like. Is it gonna stack up for that all important price point? Let's go. We're here. Hello. Hello how are you? Well, I'm good, sir. How are you? Very good, very good. Welcome to Nusret. Thank you very much. Have you dined in Nusret? This is our first time. First time. Perfect. No problem. How do you wait for this afternoon? Thank you very much. My name is Herkut. OK. This is our QR menu. You just need to scan your camera, sir. Good. The menu will pop up on your safari. If you have any questions, please do let me know. So there we have it. First impressions. Looks really, really nice inside. Kind of sleek, not too big. The main man himself is over here. And from Monday lunchtime, there's actually quite a few people here. It's not full, but I'm still intrigued. I'm, I'm in the restaurant now and I still don't think I fully get it, but let's do it. So we've got the menu on our phone. There is a golden cappuccino on it for 50 quid. I feel like I need to have that before we leave. <laughs> <laughs> Jess is having absolute kittens on the way here. She's saying, I hope they do, um, what did you say? Chicken, chicken goujons. <laughs> so there you go, look. Most of them are marinated. If you like non marinated, yeah, you, you just get them go. But it's a straight away. The, the giant one is one of the 630, the, the regular ones. Yeah, still a good size. So what we've just learned there, like that big tomahawk, you see the giant one is for, what do you say, four or five people? Yes, sir. Four I or five people. go for regular one. Regular, and regular, one. yeah. But that one, I don't know, you used to look at other people's food, but it's amply, it's big, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Really big. All right, cool. Do you want to order? Should we order? Should we order? Yes, yeah. One eternity later. Did you order fries? No. To be honest, fries? That's enough, sir. <laughs> is it? Yeah. What have you ordered? Chips is, well, okay, this is special sushi, calamari, salmon, avocado, roll to start with. Yeah. yeah. Then this is special for two, tomahawk, medium rare, mashed potato, onion flour, sweet corn, and cream spinach. So basically, I was going to order more there, and he stopped me. So you got enough, mate. <laughs> <laughs> save some space for baklava. Save some space for baklava. OK, well, save some space. Yep. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Let's do it. I've got the menu in my hands. And yeah, it is a little bit inflated, a little bit pumped up. Looking at the meat counter, though, that giant tomahawk for 630 quid serves four or five people. It's not that bad. It's kind of punchy, a little bit aggressive. It just shows you, doesn't it, your opinion when of seeing a, a no-context receipt. Let's see. But look, I went to Sheesh and Chigwell the other day and had one of the best steaks I've ever had, a Wagyu ribeye out. Best one I've ever had. 60 quid. Gonna take a lot of beating that. And then we're gonna be quite a lot, quite a lot more money deep here today, but experience, Knightsbridge, very different vibe. I'm interested, I'm intrigued, and uh so far, it's been a wonderful trip.
This is one that I really want to try. This is Wagyu strip, around sushi rice, avocado. Looks good, doesn't it? Crispy potato. Cream cheese. Yeah, bravo. A few days ago, he broke the, the broken records. <laughs> so this is a record-breaking new threat. Yes. Big success. Exactly. He must be very happy. He is, he is, yes. He's having his cigar. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Chucking salt all over the place. Yeah, exactly. So that's the starters down. What did you think? Very good. Very good. Tasty, yeah, yeah. What was yours like, Callum? Bang. Bang him. So that was avocado and salmon sushi, yeah? We had the Wagyu. And what else do we have? Calamari. Delicious. Can't go wrong with that. It's quite a solid starter option. This looks good. Hello, my friend. <laughs> Smells so good. <laughs> the lady, Do the lady. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, how was that, Jess? Mm. <laughs> um, how about that? I've got salt in my socks. Um, <laughs> my pockets are full of salt. <laughs> that is the theatre and the drama of the man. Respect. So this one goes in the middle now, all right? Very good. Yes, very good. <laughs> I can't even do that. It's good. The man just fed me steak at my table. He took my knife and fork, he cut it up on my plate, picked it up and put it in my mouth. And I ate it like a performing seal at the theme park. Oh my God. What's the steak like? Really, really good. It's Wagyu. Very strong flavour. The outer coating has been perfectly caramelised. Very, very sweet. Very, very juicy. It's a nice big cut of steak, Callum, as you can see. The insane char on the outside, that juicy rareness in the middle. Is that even a word? Nobody knows. And we've got more food going on. It's, it's, it's kicking off. I'm just kind of worried whether I'm going to have more salt in my socks by the end of this. Um, have we got more salt on this one, mate? Now we've got this all going on. <laughs> There's my mash. <laughs> Thank you. Tender AF. Tasty AF. It's funny because you think, as long as it's cooked over fire with salt, what more? The product is obviously fantastic. There's definitely an element of something here today. Whether it stacks up with the obvious price point is another question, but have we had a good have we had good fun? The food? On point. Natural one, which one would you like? Uh, normal, please. I'm not a maiden money. He's <laughs> <Woo. laughs> you jump.
two. Thank you. Probably the most molested piece of food I've ever been handed at a restaurant. Let's try it. Here we go. Very good. So we're thank you. Thank you very much. We're kind of at the end of the end of the meal now. We've had time to drink some tea and deliberate what we thought of the experience. I think we should conclude outside and dive into it, but overall it was good. Really enjoyed it. And the main man is here himself, so that kind of added an element of something to the day. If he wasn't here, maybe it could be different, but we'll cross it outside. Yeah. Ah! Not as bad as what people might think. Woo! We did the washing up. Could have had a lot of kebabs for this. There you go. OK, everyone. Very interesting experience. Now, I have had a big opinion of the prices that I've seen online. It's created a lot of debate. And I stand here now a little bit confused because on one hand, there's an element of theatre, drama and class about that place that I haven't seen before. But on the other hand, you've got places like Sheesh and Chigwell that have got so much more atmosphere. If I was sat in there now, just thinking to myself, where would I prefer to be sitting right now? And I honestly think somewhere like Sheesh. Probably over that. Uh, the meat, without question, was fantastic. The, the, the Wagyu tomahawk was delicious. But at 385 pounds, it's pushing my boundaries on a personal level of what I think is acceptable. Now, I, and I understand no one's put a gun to my head to come here. The price of the prices, I understand that. But as a food reviewer, we had to come and build our own opinion of the place. Very, very important for me. On Friday night at Sheesh, just going back to it, I wanted to compare the two. I had a Wagyu ribeye, 60 pounds. Probably the best steak I've ever uh, laid my lips around in a restaurant. However, this did ha have an element, obviously we met the man himself, and it did have an element of theater and drama. The only sort of thorn in my side right now, in my concluding thoughts, is the, the sides. Um, very underwhelming. The mashed potato, the onion, the corn, reminded me of something you'd see at a regular low-level restaurant. There's no doubt about the meat being exceptional, but for me, I feel confused. You can't knock the man. He's an entrepreneur, he's done a great job, he's worked very hard and he's not forcing anyone to go there. With that being said, my recommendation to you is, as a, from a score point of view, would be something along the lines of a, like an eight out of 10. My bill for three of us today, I know you guys want to know what that was, 982 pounds for a three person lunch. Uh, we didn't have any alcohol and that, uh, 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 with that at all. Actually, Jess had one 22 pound cocktail. That was it. Um, couple of starters two grill mains, a few sides, and two desserts, 982 quid. We had to cover this place, but there's a lot of exceptional restaurants and talented chefs in this city on our shores that I think you guys should probably go and have a look at first. How about that? Salt Bay, love what you do, mate. Cook your burgers a little bit more, please. Take your sunglasses off when you're cooking. But, I got salt in my socks, but um, I enjoyed it. Would I be back? I want to stick with sheesh. That's going to be my treat. Long may it continue. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed that. Something different. I've got one more bit to add. Food has always been and will always be about who you're with, love, passion, enjoying yourself and celebration. Not about the money, but at this level for me, it distracts 
from just sitting there and enjoying it. Probably because I'm not rich enough to go there. Maybe, I don't know. But look, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you've enjoyed that review. Now, um, let's go and get a kebab.